What's up, enthusiasts? Welcome to another episode of Workbench Wednesday. Now you may be saying, Jang, we just did maintenance on the Calibern last week. What, why is it back here? That's because we're doing something a little bit different with it today, and that's because if you missed the most recent mail episode, we got some of these in. So, those of you that know about the Caliburn and know that the versions prior to number 100 can't natively take the Katana Mag Adapter. So we're gonna have to go out, go in and file out some of these ribs in here and uh, see what we can do about getting these to fit properly. Now, uh, there was a post on both Reddit and Facebook talking about grinding out or, or uh, sanding out these ribs on the inside here and that should help allow the mag to fit in and we have to go out and sand out some of these as well so that's mostly what we're going to be doing today so we're just going to get right on into it while we while we hang out and chat uh, so i'm gonna see how how long this takes hopefully it'll take maybe five ten minutes and we'll be good but i am pretty excited about these I have some, some opinions on the Katana mags right off the bat. Um, I don't want to get too heavily into it because I, I am going to do a full review on these after getting to use them in, in games. So I'll save my judgment for after getting to use them in games. But I will say I absolutely love the size. Love the size of them. I am going to have to buy some pouches that will accommodate them. Um, because yeah, uh, I, I want to be able to run them on my rig and on my belt and on my vet or vest or whatever, whatever it is that I am using. But because these are so compact, it does lend itself to a more light play style. Like you don't need as much gear or much molly space to be able to use these, which is fantastic um all right, so i don't want to grind too much out i want to just kind of start with a little bit and then go from there because uh, if i go too hard or too far I, you know maybe something else might get loose in terms of how other mags will fare um kind of wish i'd gotten a bigger file but uh you know live and learn live and learn See how far we have to go. This may, yeah, this may take a little bit longer than uh, I anticipated with this small little hand file. Uh, I should have got one of those big, bulky ones. Just grinds through things with uh, reckless abandon. Ugh. But yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, honest with you guys, I'm filming this the week prior to it's going up because well i really want to get these up and running and usable for the games that are coming up this weekend for me which are the ragnar oktoberfest games uh you know uh, assuming nothing goes wrong I, I will be at and i really you know would like to be able to run this and see how those short short darts fare with the katana mags and what the reliability is and, and all those little things uh, to kind of get an idea of a game tested scenario so I can go ahead and do a review and get my thoughts out to all of you on these magazines. Let's see. Have we gotten much of anything done? What are we hitting? So we come in here. It appears... Okay, so I think, I think what's happening is not necessarily that we need to file these out on the edges, but more so potentially just on the top is what it seems like to me from putting this in, because it's, it's on this section right here that it seems to be catching. Let me uh, let me grab a 
regular magazine here as well to kind of get an idea, make sure we're not going too far. It doesn't seem like, I mean, it's not even hitting to begin with. So I think, I think we'll be okay. But all right, the sanding life. I gotta be honest, this is one of the things I enjoy the least. And I'm, when it comes to like working on my paint jobs and stuff like that is doing the sanding. Uh, I've got the Fabu Strife sitting in a, a state of uh, needing to be finished sanding because, uh, well, it's not, uh, it's not the most enjoyable thing to do, to be, you know, honest. It is tedious and not not the most enjoyable, which is why I'm doing it here with all of you because, well, it makes it more entertaining to be able to talk with you and, and kind of relax while I'm doing it rather than just like sitting outside and doing literally nothing while doing this sanding because it, that's just, who wants to do that? Like, what's, what's, where's, where's the good in that? Maybe just the most minimal of progress, but we're gonna go little bit by little bit because I do not want to overdo this, as I said. The unfortunate part with this, this hand file I'm using is the tip of it is, isn't a file. Like, you can see the, the serration or the ridges stop, like, here. Like, well, why is that? Why are you doing that? I want all of it to be usable. Why are you making this difficult for me? Because, like, I'm, I'm trying to not jam into the, the, the rod right here. Oh. Oh. I really hope I don't mess this up, but... The good, I, I, the good news, quote unquote, suppose, uh, would be that if I do mess it up, uh, Captain Slug has the V2 Magwells on sale for like 15 bucks, so I could, you know, order another one of those. It would require taking everything apart, which, you know, may not be ideal, but, you know, at least it's, it's an option. It's an option if I mess things up here. I don't know. What is, uh, it is, is, what's your guys' least favorite aspect of modding? Like the, the part you know you have to do, but you're not exactly looking forward to it. What is, let's get that conversation going on, uh, down there in the comments. Cause I, I don't like sanding and masking can be, can be a little bit, uh, tiresome and tedious, but you do at least when you're masking, get to see kind of how things are going to look and, and whatnot. When you're sanding, it's just, it's just, is nothing. It is nothing. Oh. I'm thinking about it. I really hope, if I do have to buy a V2 Magwell, I hope Captain Slug has the file still, because I love, I love the way he did the Fabu burn on here. What are you hitting? What exactly are you stopping on? All right, so once I get there, it starts getting tight. So now, what is it? It appears, okay, so I'm gonna have to sand down some of these, these ridges right here. So we'll do that a bit because it is hitting the edge of the angled portions. Uh, I don't think I'll need to do it for the back ones, because I don't think those are gonna be an issue, but I do think I need to do it for the front. Uh, got worried for a split second there. Is it, was it the front or the back? Wait, which one was needed? It's the front, it's this, this side. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Just 
sand those down a wee little bit. I don't want to go too ham on it. And I suppose, actually, and I think about it, if I do enjoy the system, I only have one blaster that can use, that can make use of the uh, katana mags right now properly, and that's this, this Caliburn or the Fabu Burn. So, I suppose if I really wanted to, rather than manipulating the magwell here, I could manipulate the adapter and stick with that, because the adapter is is modified to work with the Caliburn, and I end up getting like a long shot or some other stuff that could use <sighs> katana mags, then uh, I could go ahead and just buy another adapter. You know, get one more mag and an adapter, and it's like 15 bucks. I mean, it's not, you know, super cheap or anything, but it could make sense. All right, did I make any progress on this? Let's get this edge here. Maybe if I do the edge, that'll give me an idea as it's sliding in if we have progress or not. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm so excited to use this blaster. I really, really hope that one of the bummers is I have not been able to get this down to 100, 150 FPS yet. I'm going to have to get uh, another spring uh, because the K25 is just too powerful, even with the O-ring removed and a scar barrel added. Granted, the scar barrel is designed uh, the way he's designed it to not lose too much FPS, so it's not as much of a factor, but uh, the other option was picking up a K31, but that drops the FPS well below where I want it. So Captain Slug thankfully posted a uh, another spring that's kind of in between the K25 and the K31, which will help me get me hopefully get me closer to that uh, range. But Cool thing is, in the Bay Area here, we have a lot of really talented and creative people. So people like Ton and Heath are working on, like they, they've been posting in the, like ideas on how to get this down to uh, the 5v5 velocity of 150 FPS for this weekend, which is awesome. Like I love that there are people that are just willing to be like, hey, I have an idea. Let's, you know, <laughs> give it a shot. All right, let's see if that does anything. Okay, uh, not, so where are you getting stuck? You're getting stuck. Okay, so it looks like I need to do these back edges here against this part. I don't know how thick this wall is of plastic, so I actually don't want to mess with it on the adapter. It's also hitting this side, so yeah. All right. <sighs> All right, so I think what we're gonna do is uh, I wanted to keep this around 15 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and jump ahead to when we get this finished and show you the results because I don't. I want. I want to keep these around a decent watchable length. So let's uh, let's go ahead and jump to that right now. And we're back. That took. Uh, that took about half an hour longer than I was hoping, but I think we've gotten close. Uh, close enough that I can slide this in. Now, right at the end, right around here, a little before here, we start to get a little bit of pushback, but it does still snap into place, and I was able to remove it multiple times. It takes a little bit. It's not an excessive amount of force. It's just... A little bit of a pull and then it then it releases so I, I'm probably gonna go in and do a little bit more but I want to make sure this will actually shoot uh, before I do that so let's go ahead and load up a katana mag one in there seems good and fires it 
see if I can show you that. I don't think you can see it, but it goes in, shoots now. We take out the mag, which it's it's not the Caliburns. I like how long the Caliburns mag release is. The issue is we'll accidentally hit it, but I don't think accidentally hitting that mag release on the Caliburn is going to remove this because of how snug it is. So um, I can probably uh, hopefully be all right. I do want to say I do want to get Zarco's um, flared magwell for this adapter. I do want to grab one of those, but. Let's go ahead and take this out now. And the moment of truth test, will it fire regular mags still? So, whoop, sorry about that, knocking the camera. It's not, not ideal. So we are in, all right, there's one. It's out, now an aftermarket mag. Okay, that was not the, uh, hopefully not. I've been having some issues with that lately. I've been trying to sort them out. Uh, likely some loose nuts somewhere, but I mean, it seems, it seems snug in here. So I'm, uh-oh. Oh, huh. Maybe I should, you know, prime the blaster when I try and remove the mag. Whew, all right. I think I think we can call that a hesitant success for the time being. Our Caliburn now can use Katana mags, and uh, I will hopefully be running these at the next game I go to where I'm able to do this, and then I will get my review of the Katana mags out to all of you, which I am excited to do. So uh, let me know what you think of going through all this to make the Caliburn compatible. Should I bother with it? Should I just ordered the new magwell what do you what do you think uh let me know in the comments let me know what you're thinking of week uh workbench wednesdays what do you think what what can be changed for the better or, or are you liking it how it is please let me know in the comments and if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and as always thank you so much for watching i'm jangular and i'll see you next time